A breakthrough test is helping detect Parkinson's disease, which has long been difficult to diagnose in patients. And Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal explains how new testing is making a big difference. I was playing golf, and on my follow-through, the club just flew through the air. And I was thinking, what the heck is going on here? It was about four years ago when John Kugelman first started displaying symptoms. Some mornings, really difficult, you know, waking up and get, get going. For years, John, who's now 77, did not have a definitive diagnosis. There hasn't been testing for Parkinson's, and it's been clinically diagnosed. But in May of this year, that uncertainty for John ended. He was able to take what's called a SIN1 test, developed by CND Life Sciences. This is a test that has never been available to us as clinicians before. This is a first in kind and we are early adopters. Dr. Tony DeMarcada is the medical director of Hartford HealthCare's Chase Family Movement Disorders Center in Vernon. She's conducted many of these tests over the last year to help diagnose patients. It's easy to do, it's highly accurate, and it gives them that definitive diagnosis of are we dealing with Parkinson's or are we not? According to the National Institutes of Health, it's estimated that as many as 1 million Americans have Parkinson's disease, and many people go undiagnosed or are misdiagnosed. That's one of the things about Parkinson's, that it's been difficult to diagnose it. For patients like John, he says it's liberating in a sense, having a definitive diagnosis. I just feel that it's better to know what you're up against rather than, you know, always be wondering. And then patients can talk with their doctor about treating and managing their condition effectively. In Vernon, Aya Channel 3 Eyewitness News.